Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for DNNHero.com. In this video, I'll be showing how you can set up Sigma Live live chat on your .NET 2 website. So first of all, forgive me for my voice. Uh, my throat is just killing me, so uh, I still wanted to, to put this video out there, but uh, my voice is not that great, so forgive me about that. Um, in any case, Sigma Live live chat is a way that you can provide support via a live chat to your users to again registered users non registered users whoever uses your website just to give an example here is a website that i saw out there and they have this thing right here where it says click here for live chat support 24 7. so that's the type of functionality that we want to add to our .NET Look website, where you can click in an image and a chat box will come up so you can interact with uh, with the support personnel of your website. Now, uh, the, the live chat module, you can download an evaluation version from Sigma Live uh, website, and I'm gonna put a link to, to that as well. I have downloaded that already, and here's what I got. Here's my Windows Explorer. Uh, everything is down here in this folder. I have downloaded four files. One is the dashboard, which we will not be talking about that today. The other one is the module pop-up, which, which is the, the actual chat in the DNN website. The third one is the Windows client that needs to be installed on the agent's computer. Now, by agent, I mean the person that will be doing the support on your website on the other end. So that's the person that the users will be speaking with. And the fourth file is the user menu, which is short, but quite to, quite to the point, and will show uh, good information about the installation and the usage of the module as well. So I have already installed the module on our test website. And I, but I have not installed it yet in my machine, the client version. So what I'll be doing is in the same machine that I'm running the website, I'll also be running as the agent that will be answering questions. So I need to install the client, the Windows client uh, application in my machine. So that's the first thing that I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna open this folder, which I have unzipped. I'm gonna run the setup. I'm gonna run this. Again, this is just a simple installation as any Windows application uh, installation. So just hit next. I'm just going to leave it just for me. Click next again. And let's just wait a little bit for it to finish. Okay, so we are almost there. Okay, so the client, the Windows client is installed. And we can just close this. By the way, um, not 100% sure if it's the best approach really to have to install a Windows desktop application to be able to chat and to support. But I'm not here to question that. I'm just, I'm just gonna, again, just gonna demonstrate how to, how you can install it. Whether it's the best way to go about, about building a module that you have to install a desktop version. Not so sure. But anyway. Um, so the, the the client is already installed. This this is our test website. I have already installed the module in this website as well. So in this website, this is the one that I have installed, the, the one that says pop-up. It's already installed and I'm going to log into the backend so we can set up a page that will have the chat link. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I can log in as, as admin or super user. And this is a DNN602. I'm gonna create a new page here. And I'm gonna call this chat. I'm gonna just add the page. I'm gonna delete the default HTML module. Um, now I can go to modules, to all categories, and I can select the ONIAC Pack Sigma Live pop-up yeah pop-up so that's the one that i'm gonna add 
this will be the chat link this will be the icon that will say if the person is available or not and again this is an evaluation version uh the the image is saying that uh, the the person will be back soon those images can be configured as well we're gonna get that in a second so to get things set up we need to go to the manage uh menu and let's click on edit sigma life from here we can change a bunch of settings uh, but the ones that i'm gonna focus right now are the ones that we need to be able to link with the uh the the, the windows client so we can we can simulate uh, a user support interaction so the first information that we need to provide is the account id this this id will be required to make the link between the client the windows client and the 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 website and it can be pretty much any number that you want to give any any sequence of characters just for the sake of our example i'm just going to put something very simple here one two three four five uh write this down so you can use that later on i'm just going to make a note of that now what we can do actually what we should do is now click on account information get account information when we click there you see the company id has created a, a number automatically in our case here number five and i have to write this down as well it's another key information that will allow us to link the desktop the the, the support with the website so i'm gonna write that down as well now we can click update and the information should be saved if we go back there edit sigma life pro there is another piece of information that we will need from this page which is the web service url this is the url that will make the link between the windows client application with the windows support application and the website so we can click here copy the url for your reference and keep it so we can set up in the windows windows application okay the other thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new a new support user so we can use that as our support user for our test here so i'm just going to go to admin users user accounts create a quick account here a new user We'll just call this John. This is John Smith. Come. Actually, this is the email. John authorized. Don't need to notify, but a password. Okay, so I'm going to add new user. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna have John as our support user. Now, what we will do is on the desktop, on the Windows uh, side, I'm going to open the application that we have installed, which is our client application. In your desktop, you will be able to see a link to that called Sigma Live after you have installed it locally. I have just double clicked on it and it's loading up going to resize so it can fit nicely okay perfect so this is the support interface now we have to set up the connection between the windows client and the website so we can provide the support necessary required so let's go to file settings this is the end of part one of the video on how to install and use the sigma live chat module